This month, for Will It Print Wednesday, we tried to make nylon bushings for the rear sway bar in a car. And remember, just because you saw it on the internet doesn't mean you should try it at home. The first part of the process is getting the bar off the car. And as you can see, it's obviously the most fun. If we have a look here at these old worn rubber bushings, you can see there's a ton of play in them. From there, we get to whip out our digital caliper and measure up all the parts so we can make the models in OpenSCAD. We did the round bushings in halves to make them easier to print, so then we don't have to use support material or anything like that. And from there, we can send the files to the printer. We read somewhere that when you use material other than rubber for bushings, you need to lube them up really well or they'll squeak. So with that in mind, we're going to use a lot of grease. With the nylon bushings installed, you can see there's absolutely no play. Now all we have to do is put it back on. All that's left now is the fun part. Let's take it for a test drive. It looks like everything's doing its job and staying together from here. You can see everything's moving in unison and there's no slop whatsoever.
When we got it into some corners, we noticed that the rear end is much more predictable, especially if there's bumps. Instead of jarring back and forth like it used to, now it tracks smoothly. We had a lot of fun with this one, but we're always looking for new ideas. So if you have a suggestion on what you'd like to see in a future episode, leave us a comment. You never know, your idea might be the subject of a Willaprint Wednesday.